Welcome, welcome, one and all. I am Raj, and welcome back to Roll the Waves 2. Playing as the Franchies, huh? And slowly working towards pure battleship domination, which at the moment we're just dominating the laughing stocks of Europe, so not really too amazing. In fact, it looks like tonnage uh, wise, we are significantly behind some of our um, counterparts, too, huh? Uh, Britain is blowing us away, America is blowing us away, the other one we're keeping up to and exceeding is Japan, huh? How so you cap alligator invest? I have no clue what that means, but hey, well, cool, that's a thing. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's start on. The only thing that I did um, in the meantime there was I swapped freaking the um, Liberty to be uh, continuing construction, halting construction on the Justice, sir. So with that, we should count. How do you call an alligator invest? Oh, I assume with the mobile phone. <laughs> Now, uh, cruiser battle, I'm probably going to decline these. Convoy defense, this should probably get me some of my large ships, so I'm going to take it. Investigator, I believe I've heard that, <laughs> but I wanted to be a smart ass on it. Oh, uh, hello, and we've got some of our four inch turrets here on the Redoubtable, the first of our Liberté classes, with two of the older Indomptable classes. Where are you? I know. I know you're the funniest ever. So I love you and keep you around and don't just tell you, fuck it, I'm going to kill you in your sleep. Why I don't tell you I'm going to do that. Eventually, though, you'll figure it out on your own. Dun dun dun. <laughs> right. uh, for now, let's go and get some fire on these guys. Alrighty, cool. Here we go. Now they're approaching in. We should be able to get a few good things here. Go. Redoubtables managed to get a few 14 inch hits already on this. Huh? And 13 and a half inches, this thing will actually probably do a bit. So let's see, that's at 13,000 yards. Let's go to our Redoubtable and let's actually look at our main caliber guns. 1300 yards effective belt is 12 inches. So it has an effective belt at this range. Oh yeah, that's a big ship. I'm trying to go for superiority of that of um, dreadnought type ships. Huh? Cayman was hit, huh? but the Richelieu, my old school ship, actually fired back with a 12-inch gun. So huh? actually got some hits. Interesting. Yeah, I got some turret jams. Nothing too major, but yeah, I, these are early quad turrets, so turret jams aren't exactly the most I've heard of. I actually haven't seen Clone Wars yet, surprisingly. Alright. So all I actually need to do is protect this convoy, and I don't intend to freaking do, um, anything to, uh, put that at risk now until bloody... You know, because they want to come fight me, they can come fight me. For now, I will stick to just fighting these until I get more superiority over my, um... With the completion of the other two Dreadnought types, so huh? Because for the moment, just having two of my old ones does not really grant me a, um, win. I'm so good, Mandalorian's a bad batch. I watched some of Mandalorians. Yeah, I wasn't exactly the biggest fan of the, um... Night Sisters or how they were portrayed in it, but hey, that's neither really here nor there. It's personal preference stuff. Alright, cool. We're waiting to go through the night now. Alright. Yeah, so they engaged, but I'm not going to pull back into them. It was not worth it this early. I wasn't the biggest fan of Maul, either, which, um, might sound a little controversial in that, but, I don't know, I still think Darth Maul's end should probably be at the end of, um, episode one. I, I just think him getting cut in half there worked pretty well. There you go, victory me, they failed their thing, and they took a little bit of damage. Really didn't mean much, but got me points. Ah, uh, by all means. German government just buy some quad mounts, so we'll get to see if the Germans are going to, um, 
get any of that going on. Another large convoy defense, I'll happily take this. Welcome back, Mindy. Oh yeah, they overused him a shitloader. Ah, some Germans rocked up to assist me too. Ah, uh, damn, it's late in the day though. Alright, what do we have here? The Hagen? 12 12-inch guns. Not that great, to be honest. Uh, looks like I've just got a bunch of the Indomitables here, at least four of them. I don't even know where the transports are. Oh, they're back a bit. Alright. So I need to be careful here. But I am fairly certain that this is a, uh, big risk here at the beginning. Here. Hey. No. Well, sweet. Cheers for the host, abolishment. Alright, so this thing took a hit from just some 5-inch guns to begin with. Alright. Some Elber classes. Yeah, the um, Italians hilariously are actually probably outgunning us a fair bit with their 13-inch guns, huh? Because this is actually essentially a good way to sum up the Battle of Jutland, huh? Because in the Battle of Jutland, obviously, freaking, um, the Germans, while they had moved to 13-inch guns, well, majority of their ships still had 12-inch guns. So, despite the fact the Germans actually, as a fl as their fleet, scored a lot more hits than the Royal Navy, uh, hilariously, they, um, completely failed to really, um, uh, score any definitive kills. Meanwhile, however, they did manage to, uh, uh, cop a lot more damage themselves from, to be quite frank, um, well, just larger caliber guns, which knocked out far more of the, um, German ships. Not that that was the only, uh, issue in all that, but, you know. Actually, just quickly too, because, yeah, I thought I did see another one here. 12 11-inch guns on the King Albert class back here. <laughs> a powerful doggo of abolishment, I see that too. Alright. Alright, because, yeah, I want to make the most of my 12-inch guns here, so if this bug is going to keep on a direct course, I am going to hold in here. Because, yeah, let's have a quick look see. This guy is currently at 9,000 yards from me, yeah? Uh, so, looking at one of these with the 12-inch data, at a little over 9,000 yards, um, 11, 11 and a half inches to 10 inches of armor is effective against me. Meanwhile, what these ships have is a 9-inch belt. So, I can get some damage in here, but it is a bit of a risk, yeah? So, you know, bits and bobs, huh? Either way, it looks like we're making them turn away again. We don't really want to get into a big deal here, because, well, all we need to do is protect these transports, huh? If we honestly stick into a big engagement against them, we are going to lose far more than uh, what's worth it. Alright. Because, yeah, them constantly just coming directly at me like this is good. And 80 years, the world will be struck to its knees due to woof creatures. Ah, oh, fuck me. I don't just spill shit all over my desk. Nah, don't worry about it. Alright. Let's get going. Some 11 inch guns. Actually, I don't have any ships with 11 inch guns right now, so I can't actually tell how effective these are being against, um, that ship. Uh. Let's see, they're turning away again, though. Alright, let's turn about again. Alright, back and forth, uh, back and forth. Uh. We just need to keep up a good screen. Can rule the waves be played multiplayer, and is it fun in multiplayer? Ah, uh, no. I think you could actually probably modify it a shitload to make it work, but, um... Probably not. Uh, in particular, it's not even like it's one game instance. Like, this is technically a different boot up than the strategic map. Huh? And trying to get that to work between um, two different computers would probably be a nightmare. Right, let's drop to cruise. Um, I have a feeling the Italians might have actually had enough. Huh? Anyway, for now, let's just go meet up with the fleet itself, uh, the transport itself, and uh, slowly walk, uh, escort them back. Dual Fortress vibes from this game. I actually 
You know, I haven't actually played Dwarf Fortress, so I can't I couldn't actually tell you uh, how similar it is. Um, I know I like it because it does have this real time element and it's got the strategic element on top of it. Uh, in particular, like well, a lot of things, it's all really worked off the maths involved in it because it's not even like, hey, can you just design a strong battleship or something? Because uh? I will admit. Um, it's something I've been noting from the Italian fleets here, because they've taken a lot of big early guns, which means they're probably at negative quality. So, so if I had actually had a fleet of, let's say, a large amount of light cruisers, so, um, I'd probably have been able to actually do a number of, of better hit-and-run attacks on them with torpedoes. So. But I wanted to do what I'm doing here, so you know. Uh, medium damage of destroyer, a couple of light damage. And I'm saying nothing major. Alright. So yeah, get some more points, nothing major. They got a new light cruiser coming in, which is what it is, nothing major. Ah, we can get light anti-air. Ah, god, more. I need to design some freaking counters to these damn dirty submarines. Alright, let's see. K-guns. Can I do that? Increase DC storage. Maybe. Uh, actually, there's a good thing. For the new destroyers, can I get um, depth charge storage? Uh, how much weight does that take, actually? A fair bit! Uh, but I'm actually not too bad with that. Um, I could probably make a lot of use of this. Let's see. Too crowded center line? That seems fine by me, especially if I can up that. Oh, this is actually a um, better ship than I'd be willing to admit. Alright, awesome. Corliss, let's build this then. Not exactly the most impressive thing out there, but hey, it's got multiple torpedoes. Ah, French ship intercepted by an Italian... Oh, intercepts Italian raider running the blockade. We'll fight the battle, we'll see what it's got, because it's only one of my older light crews. So, yeah, let's have a quick look-see at this. Oh no, this is a uh, jean Bart class. Never mind, so this is actually not too bad of a ship. Alright, let's squad max up, and let's chase after this. Let's actually see what it is. So, if it's a heavy cruiser, I might be able to outrun it. If it's... Let's identify BB at a distance here. Wow. <laughs> And I identified a light cruiser, uh, I'll say. Oh, we outnumber- outgun this pretty fucking heavily. Alright, hold on, is it all speed that this thing's got? Yeah, 30 knots, so it does outrun me. Alright, need to fight this. It's like Rimworld, but with really retarded AI. Ah, uh, do you mean Dwarf Fortress? Because I'd say the AI on this is generally pretty good, huh? Alright. Uh, with that pass, I think it managed to limit the effectiveness of my engines a bit, so I actually think I'm probably going to be too slow to... Yeah, right on. Because, yeah, this has relatively... De this one has relatively decent AI. I've seen how they tend to fight in these is a um, pretty impressive bit. Like this, doing the passes that it's doing right now is pretty, go uh, pretty good, huh? It's limiting me down a bit, but... Ah, man, it's taken damage for it. Because, yeah, I don't know if I will actually be able to down this one. I know I did just see that I took a critical hit. Nothing major. Actually, let's have a quick look see at the um, structural integrity of this ship, shall we? So, yeah, it's taken seven medium hit of medium hits, better flotation damage, nothing major, critical hit in its one of its fire controls, though. Yeah? So that's unfortunate. This thing is quite a bit slower right now than it should be. Looks like I haven't managed to hit their engines yet. Meanwhile, they have actually fortunately managed for them, fortunately, managed to hit me. Yeah? Come on, you ah, damn. Come on, smack it, biatch. God, 50% main ammo already. Alright, I actually think it might be slowed down right now. 
Come on. Ah. God, I love some of these little ba little battles and that where it's like, okay, either I'm trying to run away or they're trying to follow me. All right, so I'm out of gamma, uh, ammo on my forward guns here. So yeah, I've got to need to hit it with the side guns a bit more. Ooh, I love these sort of pursuits of that. They are so decent. All right. I think we will manage to actually take this bugger down. Come on, we can't be too. We can't be too bad, buddy. What's our ammo looking like? Because yeah, forward is out. Our secondaries and that. I've still got plenty left. All right, so we're good for now. Because most of this thing's guns are at its secondaries right now, which are all the um, five inches, huh? Because that's just got the two primary six-inch guns. All of which is more powerful than this thing's fucking five six-inch guns. Uh, for what these ships are respectively are meant to do for each other, I should say. Ugh, come on. Let's turn this up to fast and let us just keep following, because I actually think it's out of ammo at this point too. For its main guns, anyway. Alright. I see it's taken a couple more hits. Ah, oh, man. I was actually surprised. I really thought freaking this would be over by now. Usually these battles don't actually take all that long. Yeah, just like, okay, quick in, quick out. We've managed to get them, they've managed to damage us, or I'll turn for like, you know, whatever causes a faster turn away. Oh, it's apparently not sinking yet. Despite how slow she's going. There we go, now it's gone. So according to that, I actually took light damage despite the critical hit, so... Yeah, that sunk her. Alright. So that'll only give a... Yeah, that'll give a pretty decent amount, just due to, well, it was a raider trying to sneak out the blockade. I'll just tell us right to machinery. Um, yes, always. Increase range. Another of their raiders has been interred. Hey, and the Germans added some stuff to us. Call us. Uh, not now for you. Thank you. And let us continue. Ah, uh, it's got a pre -dread. They've apparently got a pre dread out here now. Hmm, interesting. Alright, oh, well, apparently they couldn't challenge us, so, you know. Ah, uh, yeah, no, uh, need that. Need the resources right now, gents. Sorry. How close are we actually getting this out? Six more turns until we have the other Liberty class. Ah, they're coming to fight us finally. Uh, fleet ba a fleet battle around a Maritimo. So my Dreadnoughts versus their battle cruisers. Let's see how it goes, why don't we? Let's see, getting two ships, sir. Huh? Alright, let's see, what am I directly controlling? Uh, my old freaking ones there. Meanwhile, all my newer and stronger ones are down in a separate one. Alright, that's fine, huh? Oh, there we go. Already got an unknown ship sighted. What are all these ones actually set to right now? Alright, let's pause that. Uh, core, apparently. Hmm. Interesting that they're not trying to form into a core. Alright, let's turn down like this and let us start strafing them. Alright. I'm gonna turn out of this first one because we're not actually close enough to the fleet. Because yeah, there we go, the others have got to turn on in. Perfect, and now we should be able to actually do a bit more. So these Marco Polo classes, not too bad, they're 12-inch guns just like the majority of our fleet. So, here we're at a vastly more even gunnery rate. Because yeah, we've got Redoubtable back here, which is the bigger Libertes with the 14-inch guns, and then we have the older ones here with the 12-inch guns. So, uh, NSW? I uh, forget who it's called, buddy. Give me two seconds. Uh, 
Always two. Yeah, NWS, that's them. Knew they had a name similar to that, just sounded a little off. Alright, well that destroyer's regretting its time. Uh, I believe it is a company that makes the game rule the waves too! <laughs> I don't know, man. I actually didn't actually know that much about them until um, I started playing this game. <laughs> um, I know they do a few other games pretty similar to this in scope, though. Which is pretty cool, if you ask me. Okay, uh, really quick. These destroyers, are we going to end them or not? You're saying that like New South Wales is full of dyslexic bastards. Alright. Awesome. Let's cut to the northeast now. Because I believe that's their battle cruiser column, and I would like for them to cross me. Ah, looks like they're not going to do that. Interesting. Alright, they might be they might be about to. Because my honest to god hope would be go northeast and manage to pull around them so that they're separated from the rest of their ships. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, what is. Uh, was like Northwest Suka. Uh, I don't know. It's something Wargaming Studios, I think. I could be wrong on that, so don't quote me. God. Alright. No. I slow myself to twenty, uh, 20 knots apparently because everyone else has fallen slower. Okay, right. looks like a the cruiser there just took a pretty big hit. Oh, the Kaiman just took a couple of hits. Nothing too major, and now these guys are going to be under fire from a lot more ships separated the way they are. I think Redoubtable just landed a hit on it too, yep. So there you are. Oh! Oh, uh, some airships are attacking us now. Yeah, I need to actually um, build up my air bases finally. It'll probably be the next thing that I really try to focus on. Waves 2, because 35 dollars or is it free? Yeah, Rule the Waves 2 is a game that you do have to buy, yeah? I forget how much I purchased it for, it was a bit ago now. There we go, more ones here, take a 14 inch fire. God, 14. Uh, 14 14 inch guns. There you go, mind you at this range I doubt we're that effective, huh? Alright, let's cut to the direct north here, if we can see what we can do, huh? Because I'd like to freaking head up here, probably cut across, sir, huh, before pulling back out. See if we can catch any of these remaining ships um, before they actually head back to port fully. Because even if we just catch a couple of these light cruisers or something, I will call that generally worth it. It's light cruisers they won't have later to engage in other hostile operations. Alrighty. Especially when their ships fuck up like that. I'll be surprised if we don't kill that thing. Alrighty. We also got a couple of hits on that Genoa class out there too. That's that song. Let's head northwest around here because I do have an objective to actually sink two ships. So let's see if there's anything left. Huh? Because that thing's dead, huh? So, granted, I'm not going to get too close, so fuck, I'm really worried about how close these ships are. I'd like to at least be out here a bit further. Doesn't seem like that big of a difference, but I am worried about mines. Oh yeah, right, forgot about the um, Gallus class entirely. Because yeah, these things were interesting little designs. Other all, they gave me an interesting thing.
I mean, I would pay 35 for a blowy, but that's because I generally have never needed to pay 35 for a blowy. I mean, it depends how desperate I was, to be honest. Unfortunately, I've usually had someone. Alright, I'm gonna head along the coastline here, see if I can find any of their uh, transport ships or anything. Sink one of those, hopefully get the um, objective complete. Because, yeah. Oh, hello. Got a ship. Oh, come on, you. That DD was hit a bit. Man, what's the bet? Freaking, I get close to this thing, it just fires like a bunch of torpedoes into us. Where'd you go? There is no way it escaped from me down here. Now there it goes. Alright, and she's dead. Huh? Alrighty. And that's it. Freaking both of those are sunk. Sweet as, objective complete. Let's get out of here. Alright, so yeah. No, I fucking love this game. I think it's um, honestly pretty great. Huh? Uh, just being able to design your own ships and pit them against each other is so damn fun. Alright, a couple of damaged ships, nothing too major lost, but it is a points victory for me. Hey, we're blockading Italy. Uh, be careful about stoking the fire. Yeah, sure. Lock him up, throw away the key, give me the points. Hey, we've got inclined belt armor now too. Fucking hell. I'm losing quite a bit to submarines. I really need to get more ASWs out too. Because at the moment, fuck, they do damage. So let us... We've got a couple of these finally coming out, so that'll be a bit of my um, cost back. Uh, but for now, I do want to build a series of these DDs. Uh, I'd like to build 10, please. Alright, raid on coastal installations, large battle, absolutely. Yeah. Large battles should get me capital ships, which it did not. Where do I need a raid? Oh, oh yeah, just right on the coast there. I could probably do that. No, I won't fucking go any faster than just cruise. It's a misty day, so I might be able to actually get in there without being seen. We'll see how it goes. I am hoping to actually come up and around. But, as you can tell, I'm not going to. <laughs> Alright, let's max speed in there now. Uh, do not tell me they are actually heavy cruisers. No, huh? The old, uh, some old Salonos, 6 6 inch guns, 2 inch belt. Genoa, 10 4 inch guns with a 2 inch belt, and Venezia. 2 inch belt, 5 inch guns. I think all of these are the same class here, the Jean Bars. Huh? Yeah. It's actually in two of them I've got. Wow. And I'm actually a couple more damage than they are, I think. Yeah, I do have a bunch of good guns to kill these guys. If I get lucky, I could probably finish them off. Huh? That Salerno looks like it's going slow, so let's go on the breakaway right now. We'll try to strafe and get in there. Yeah, turn back in. We've got our guns back out, ready to go. Yeah, here we go. Let's go turn by turn. Genoa, Salerno. Ah, fuck, a Corvette too. Sometimes these have 6-inch guns. 4-inch guns, okay, not the biggest worry. Because, yeah, from memory, these have 2-inch armor? Yeah, 2-inch armor. There we go. Couple of torpedoes away too. Let's see if we get lucky on a hit. Nah, damn. Yeah, here we go. And Venezia will be sunk. That's my bet anyway. 
come down here, see if we can hit Genoa's Lerno. Uh, Alright, these two are probably dead. Huh? Alright, well, let's hit squad max again, see what we've changed to. 22 knots. Yeah, so that's us done. Wow, how have I not hit a single one of these? Yeah, oh, that's that one dead. Wow, really? Well, Free Ant might be dead too, unfortunately. Oh, shit. I want to turn away from that. Oh, that was interesting. Come on, you lot. And... Genoa's down. Wait. Oh, and this was Sink 82 ships? What? I thought it was a Raider coastal, coastal installation. Uh, okay. Well, um... Let's pull away. Let's go fucking, like, northwest. See if we can cut out of here. Right, I'm gonna see if I can link up with Freant really quick. Uh, let's slow us both down to whatever it can manage, and let's get out of here. Alright, awesome. Come on, free it. Please tell me you've actually got your flooding under control. Uh, kind of. It might actually manage to hold on. Alright, looks... my These light cruisers were a good investment. Uh, it did suck that initial fight against their battle cruisers, but well and behold. Uh, against what I designed them for? Yeah, they work. Alright. Let's cut out down here. We're going at fucking 12 knots, man. Fucking hold on. Alright, and I think we'll actually be done here very shortly, so it is entirely possible. We will manage to actually hold on here. Just long enough to hit that time gap, please. We're so close. Yes! Heavy damage, but we won. Fucking handedly. Awesome. Yeah, fuck you. And all these have gotten me back into fucking peas and bread demonstrations. Damn commies. Jill press mouse. Ah! Unit machinery. Sweet. Improved two-inch guns. Hmm. I'll definitely use a shitload of them. <laughs> Fucking summer. Submarines have been sunk. Ah, nice. Cause is growing among the neutral nations. I approve of that. All right. And next turn. Enemy raid on coastal in installations. Fleet sized. All right. I'm allowed to take you again. Man, I was never freaking um, controlling the big bad ships. <laughs> oh, here's the battle cruisers. Come on, everyone, fall on in. Alright, and let us freaking turn down this way. Start strafing these. Yeah, there we go. Marco Polo at 13,000 yards. Yeah, that won't be effective. But, hey. While granted they're not effective initially, something to be said about the game, it does actually, um... It might mean that they will be more effective later. I'm very proud of the gunnery of my guys. Alright, come on. Let's close this gap here, because I do have the numbers to win this engagement. Alright. Not to mention, I actually have fairly decent secondaries on these. Yeah, 14 7 inch guns. Or back here, if we go to the Redoubtables, I believe they've got 5 inch guns? Yeah. Alright, cool. And up here. Let's see if we can just keep hitting these. I'd really like to rip down a few of their battle cruisers finally. 
But I don't know whether or not I'm going to get the chance. Alright. Come on. Are we all getting hits on these? Lepanto's taking damage, but the Lepanto I don't really give a shit about. It's just that crappy old one of these. Uh, one of my ships is on fire, but I don't think it's that big of a problem yet. Alright, come on you lot. Just fucking end them. Let's go. Alright. I saw Marin uh, go here and Terrible have both taken damage, so let's have a quick look. See, heavy hits 4, but overall it's good. Marengo, bit more damage, heavy hits 10, I think it'll be fine for now. Alright, come on. Let's get them. Alright, oh fuck it. Let's uh, pull down here. If we can't catch them, we can catch these. Because yeah, for whatever reason, this ship is very slow. With any luck, we have caught this ship completely napping, or we had a critical hit on it. Don't know, nor do I really care. All I know is I'm taking the opportunity. Oh, Kaiman just took a few good hits. Yeah. Alright, Kaiman's getting pretty fucked up here. I wish I could tell the rest of the ships to continue after this, but, um, can't. So, yeah. Now we're just pulling along the backside here. Hoping to do whatever damage we can to this. So, shall I sitting with 12 inch guns? Because, yeah, not the biggest or baddest of their dreadnought types since it's like first generation dreadnought, but yeah, these ships will do damage. So, best to wipe it out now, make sure they've got less guns in the future. Wow, that was four hits on, a four, on 14 inch guns, so this thing should be hurting a bit. Yeah, even at 13,000 yards, bloody 14 inch guns were not something to last, laugh off, huh? Not with 9 inches of belt. Alright. Mm. But yeah, up to fast, let's see if we can actually, um... Finish ripping this one apart. Come on, we have got to be able to wipe this out, right? I don't know what that said. Alright, Terrible is still on fire. Kaiman's taken a decent bit of damage out here too. So this has all been rather disappointing. Alright, let's pull back down to Nice, I reckon. Alright, well, fuck it. You know what, let's hit Squad Max again, so we're going 15 and... Go back to port, because Terrible here is actually about to sink. Because it hasn't controlled its damage. Uh, let's see if we can get to port before it does that. I'll be amazed if it does. Like, what a horrible way to lose one of the Dreadnoughts. Looks like it probably controlled its damage. Let's go have a quick look-see. Terrible, what are you looking like now? Still fucked. Into port we go. So yeah, those are now away. Looks like the rest of the fleet's gone off to have a look-see around. So yeah, uh, I don't think I can... Oh, Italy put all their ships away too. Damage, medium damage, draw. Okay, well... That's disappointing. <laughs> Army offensive turned into an unmitigated disaster with massive casualties. Good on yous. Make the agent a national hero from Austria-Hungary? Hell yes. Early Hydrophones. Ooh, nice. 
damage to an Italian battle cruiser. Nice, nice. All right, ships under construction. Uh, two more coming in now, which will get me back up into a positive in terms of income. Cruiser action. Ah, uh, that's getting declined. Italy, large convoy defense. I accept. Awesome, and some Germans fucking joined in too. Alright, so it's on daybreak. Alright, ah, sweet! And I'm actually controlling the Liberty. Yes! I play with the big guns now. Alright, now let's rip into this. Fucking hell. They are... Let's freaking turn across like this, shall we? And let's keep ripping into them. Because, yeah. Bloody, that was... Fucking a lot of damage to them. Right on. Alright, that's cool. Uh, Liberty Claws. Have you taken any major damage yet? No. Fuck me, I think this armor is almost you know, impenetrable against the 12-inch guns that these two are bringing to bear. Alright, let's actually pump this up, and I'm fairly certain that thing has actually got rudder damage. <sighs> yep, well, t flash file. Well, good start. Let's start ripping into these more, shall we? Uh, let's see if we can capture any more of them. I'd actually really like to get this um, seaplane tender up here. Mind you, unfortunately, I feel like I might need to pull out a bit, bloody, yeah. I want to go, because this ship could easily turn around and do some damage to us. Mind you, I say that, and another Renault type's actually on its way in. Oh, Francesco Morosini class. This is one of their bigger ones, wasn't it? Too? No, not really. Just better armoured. Alrighty, well, let's lower the speed and freaking just see what we can really do. Because, yeah, there's not really much around here, buddy, um, to worry about. These things are coming up here, doing some damage. Let's go back up to squad max and come down after this, considering it seemed intent to fight the pre -dreads. Uh, yep, go pick up survivors, yep, sure. Alright. Liberty will be engaging that now to begin with. Awesome. Alright, well. Don't know what this ship's really trying, but I'm gonna chase it off. Huh? Best case scenario, I get some damage on it. Worst case scenario, mm, yeah, it runs away. Is it? Soon. Yeah, no, we're actually catching up to this guy pretty badly. We could likely get some good hits on him. If we keep up the pursuit. Or well, so I'm hoping, anyway. Ah, I could be wrong. Either way, it looks like those are being relatively effective here. It just... No, alright. I'm gonna pull off that. I know there's still light cruisers out here and I don't trust leaving this alone. Yeah, it looks like we're good, and that was probably a freak out for no reason. I have a feeling that they're probably, um... That they've probably all pulled back to harbour at this point. But, hey, who it was worth being on the cautious side for. Yeah, let's push up here. Let's see if we can do, because those are basically safely in harbour now. Except for those guys who decided to go be idiots. Alright. Nothing seen, nothing seen, nothing seen. Push across the northwest. Fucking anything, gents? Nah, looks like we are pretty sick out here. Awesome. So the Italians bravely ran away. Alright, hold on. What's this? BB? Let's max speed, let's get in there. 
My dear, it's already run away. Brave, brave Sir Robin. Or Sir Marcelio? I don't know. Yep, they put it away. Lost the submarine. Oh! Right, yeah, right. I actually kind of forgot that I sunk one of their drone nauts there. Well, I'm happy with that. That is a good uh, mount. St. Louis is in the yard. Triple torpedo tube mountings. Sweet. Wall furnace. Dual purpose mountings. Three and four inch guns. Hell yes, sir. Uh, diplomatic night. Uh, I should get upset over a little spying. Yeah, sure. Cayman hit a mine in the Mediterranean and is damaged. Alright, sweet. Wow, well, mines are doing their stuff. Sinking emergencies by raiders and submarines are causing a fuel shortage in France. Well, wow, they actually... Oh! Okay. Nice. So the USA has joined the war on my side here because apparently fuck Italy. Alright, two turns left until we get the next big ship out. Convoy attack, medium. Okay, uh, this could get me a ship. We'll see how it goes. Yep, I got battle division with the Gallus uh, with the two Gallus classes. All right, that's pretty decent. So synths transports, and we are around the area where they supposedly are. All right, awesome. Let's get over here then, shall we? Yeah, a couple of battle cruisers out here probably aren't going to stand the same in terms of armor against these, huh? Because yeah, these have the 12-inch belts, huh? With a lot of 12-inch guns. Alright, Scipion Africano, so we've already seen these plenty. 10 12-inch guns, 21 knots, and a 9-inch belt, huh? These are not enough to stop me. Even these, the uh, Morosinis here, uh, they have better armor, but it's kind of equivalent in terms of gun, uh, guns and therefore firepower, so I'm really not too fussed about them. Especially, and to be honest, I'm about to just pull in against these small transports and win the quote-unquote goal of this. Sir. Yeah. Well, that went well. Not fire torpedoes at random freaking transports, Jesus. Uh, Republic's getting hit a bit. Oop. Republic and Gauss both took freaking some heavy hits there, so let's have a quick look, see? Didn't do much damage to Republic and Gallus, uh, they knocked out a gun. Wow. Alright, well, apparently we've sunk that, and more importantly, fuck, we're getting a lot of hits on this. Well, let's see if we can actually do some bigger bits of damage here, shall we? Oh, okay. I also think the sinking. Republic is still good. That one looks like it's fucking sunk. Scipion is still under fire. Alright. I think we might be able to finish this off, but fuck our ships are taking some damage here. I think the rudder, is, oh, the rudder on the Gallus is stuck. Oh, come on, you. Come on, how, da how damaged can we be? I know we're stuck to like 10 knots or something, but let's have a quick look, see, shall we? Well, actually, not too bad. We've just taken some critical engine hits. Alright, well, let's see if we can catch them at 10 knots. <laughs> Slower than pre-dreads.
Alright, the Republic is catching up again too, so we have a lot of firepower advantage over these guys. Uh, come on. There we go. There we go. We have speed again. Our engines have been partially repaired. Let us finish off the Scipion Africano class. Oh yeah, she is so sunk. There she goes. Ah, oh, same more transports. Let's go hit them, shall we? Alrighty. <laughs> Fucking now we're down to fifty percent to its fire oh, of their firepower. Alright, that was a transport, not a battle cruiser. You know, I don't actually trust freaking that cruiser, so uh, I'm just gonna set course up here. Go on home. Call that the end of this battle. Alright, so we've got two light damage. They lost both those dreadnoughts and freaking all their transports. <laughs> yes, queen. Huh? Alright. See, when we get to use the dreadnoughts, holy shit do they work. Oh, Austrian ship Babenberger. Ah, oh, 12 13 inch guns, 12 inch armor, and 24 knots. Bit faster than most of my dreadnoughts of its of their own, but it doesn't mean. Fuck me, really? Jeremy, stop freaking spying on me. Cost me prestige. Virtually, you took one. That's fine. Ah, uh, because, yeah, freaking. Not even the equivalent to that one there, so hold on, hold on, let's resume construction on you too, shall we? Because, yeah, I think by the time, um, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. That'll all be good. Raid on a coastal insulation, large, beautiful. Because, yeah, I don't think, um, what is with these quote-unquote large ones and me only getting some light cruisers? I need more battle cruisers out here, because I think, um, I think it's not giving me exactly what I've really be, been wanting out of this, because like, that's I just don't have battle cruisers. I doubt that's a battle cruiser, and I'm gonna fucking hold that. Nope, I'm entirely wrong. Fucking run. All right, come on, we're out of here. Fuck this battle. I think 28 is the same they can do, so I should be good to leave. Huh? Whew, three battle cruisers. Yeah, that's what I mean by I need more battle cruisers, because uh, I can't keep having this happen. <laughs> I'll probably make a. Um, oh, what do we reckon? I'm trying to think of a good battle cruiser design, but. Actually, I have like 16 inch guns in that. Maybe I'll make a uh, six twin turret. A uh, 16 inch. Probably something like Renown? Or maybe I'll go up one extra and get it, make it essentially an Admiral class. Huh? With a bit of a thicker armor and deck, though, I reckon. Dual purpose wise, dual purpose guns for days. Huh? Yeah, right. I am not fighting this. I am going all the way up here. Alright, I'm considering that I ran far enough away, I'm just going to pull it up, because I'm probably not going to succeed my objective with that hanging nearby, even if I just try to target transports. So, not worth it, in my opinion. Hello, port. Don't you look beautiful? Yes to all. Alright, alright, I will all be in port soon, and I think that'll end it automatically. Yep, there we go. Yeah, they had four battle cruisers out, so I found my objective, but I do not care. I really do not care. Yeah, it cost me nothing to run away like that. The Patre has commissioned. Oh, awesome. More technology. Always good. Gradual armor quality is getting better. Ah, uh, you know what? Uh, handle it quietly and shrinkly. Or oh, let's get more budget. 
think we're good. Yeah, I'll probably not try to piss off Italy anymore, to be honest, but I'll do bits and bobs. For now, uh, up here, build fortifications, air base. I have two, St. Florent. Build fortifications, air base, Butterfusio. There we go. We got those two. We'll actually build some air bases out in Tunisia. I think I'll do all three here. Then I'll probably build one at Mars El Kabir in Algiers. Probably won't bother about one. Don't really need to. Airbase, uh, let's put it in Tunis itself. Build fortification, airbase. Actually, I probably don't need to do one on all three of these, do I? Because, yeah, I could probably uh, just build down with those two because that'll kind of cover all that area. And then I could come over here and just build it Mars El Kabir. Oh, close, close. Flag, please. Build fortifications. Airbase, Mars El Kabir. Boom. Alright, so now we have air bases building in the south down there. Let's come down here, build fortifications, go to Toulon, build some there. Uh, what do we reckon? Probably, I reckon build one in Cherbourg and Brest too. Just, oh fucking. Really? Really? God, I click on a thing for a reason, and that's what it does to me. Rude game, rude. Anyway, <laughs> oh, all right, we got one at Brest, and we will soon have one in Treble too. All right, so for now, that's exactly where I'll build up, and that will all be fine. Uh, West Africa, what am I really missing there? Uh, for now, I'm going to move one of these ships down there, to be honest, to West Africa. There we go. I'll probably move you as well, to be honest. Move you to... Uh, is it East Africa or the Red Sea? Da -da 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 -da. Actually, I think it's just counted as the Indian Ocean over there. I'm going to move it over there, but I could be wrong. Uh, let me just double check. Nah, alright, that's all the Indian Ocean. That's all G. Also, got to build an airbase down here, because... It really is a vastly more important area than you think. Alright, Raid on Coastal Shipping. Another large one, I will accept this. Oh, it's an unexpected battle. <laughs> the USA has arrived. Oh no, what do we have from the USA here? Uh, I saw the battle cruiser Tycon... Oh, wow, I'm controlling a bunch of their sh... Oh no, wait, I'm not controlling. Now, what have we got here? The Ticonderoga class. 10 14-inch guns. 12 and a half inches. Fucking 28 knots, pretty nice. Constellation, 11 inch guns, nothing major, but that's one of their older ones. So yeah, I just have a couple of light cruisers, but holy shit. Uh, the Americans brought the big guns. Alright, let's see what we run into then. Let's probably come down here, because I'm imagining that uh, these ones here are... Alright, they're actually cored with me, interesting. Alright, well, I'll have to keep that in mind, huh? Dude, I love the name Ticonderoga. It's fucking glorious. Alright, just a simple AMC. Easy. Alright, the Americans immediately misinterpreted what I want to have happen, and they fucked off, huh? So, much like the Americans, big guns, not much sense. Well, let's have a look see how this goes. So, yep, that's a transport down. Don't suppose we get the patrol boat. No. All right. Ah, uh, sure. Here we go. They got three battle cruisers there. The Americans are about to engage. Who struck a boat? Dimitri. Cabal Chevalier. Oh wow. Well, at least it wasn't one of these. Alright, looks like the Marco Polos are copying some severe fire there. Oh, wow. They, uh, um, they really pushed that hard, didn't they? Come on, fire a couple of torpedoes. Alright, no mind, let's break out of here and cross that Marco Polo on their way out. Because, yeah, I'm going to launch a torpedo into the side of this with these, hopefully. Yeah. 
Ah, missed. All right, Marco Polo, hit by a torpedo. Beautiful. Honestly, mate, I don't remember it. Fucking, you say you, yeah, you're disappointed in me, but to be honest, I could fucking fully know where it's from, but I don't fucking remember. My memory's shit. I remember some really random shit, but other times, yeah, nah. Huh. Yeah, nah. Don't remember it. Wow. Uh, Ticonderoga here has not had a good time. Alright, anyway, I think it's time for us to get out of here. We've most likely sunk one of their ships. Yeah, that's another torpedo into it. It's dead. We're out of here. So yeah, I want to go for Nisa. Let us just leave. Huh? Let's make the best run out of here that we can. Huh? Alright. Constellation, how are you going? Because you're slow as shit right now. Uh, still trouncing along. Alright, I'm dropping down to cruise for now. I think uh, we're going to be out of here pretty quickly. Yeah. Alrighty. That was good. Fucking cheers, Americans, for rocking up. This would not be a, um, well, it wouldn't even be a battle if they weren't here. <laughs> Alrighty. Spectacular, that's one of their battle cruisers down. Of all bits of good luck that I could have, I'm quite happy with that one. Especially considering how rough this all started out. Oh yeah, that destroyer was probably dead fucking from the moment it hit a mine. I'm surprised it lasted as long as it did. Alright, we're almost in Nice. We'll pull it up and we will be quite happy. Because, yeah, the poor U.S. battle cruisers, yeesh, they got ripped apart. Yeah. Alright, awesome. And we're out. Cool, and I'm imagining we'll probably time out before these remaining ships get back to port. But, hey. <laughs> and they changed their minds on which port they want to go to. Uh, looking like, oh, they changed again. That constellation moving down. The USS Barry. Alright. They're almost in. Yeah, are we done? You know what? Yeah, there we go. Well, I was almost right. Almost wrong, too, but hey. Alright. Yeah, that's one of the battle cruisers down. They are not replacing that anytime soon. Another 7,000 points. Alright, we have a pretty decent bloody um amount of points over the, the moment. Oh, the game's thinking about something. Don't know what that was, but it was thinking about it. There we go. <laughs> Enemy has sent it out. Uh, better terms will crush them completely. Italian raid has been interned. Sweet as. Sweet as. Alright. Now, big deal is I definitely probably want to design a few battle, uh, battle cruiser now. Well, let's also keep building this up because, yeah, I, I feel like I need it. Thing is, I kind of want to hold on till I get like the all forward design, but it doesn't seem like it'll be too bad. Alright, I reckon decrease guns. Decrease guns. Let's add turret. Do I have an off superimposed? Yes. Alright, so if we do that, let's go to 45,000 now. Let's take it to 30 knots. Uh, 10.5, I'll go for 11, sure. Now, secondaries. Lower these, get them up here, dual purpose them. Make a literal shitload of these. Don't need you, huh? Ah, actually, some more three inch guns probably actually wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, and I could probably get away with it before we six them. There we go. Alright. That didn't really change all that much, I was expecting a bit more. So, director, let's up the amount of ammo I have to 120. Torpedo, defense good, accommodation good, medium good, freeboard, nominal. Uh, a ship with displays can have a max of 44 tertiary or secondaries. 
Alright, well, let's lower that. That's all fine. Okay. So now I can just fill this with as much freaking um, light AA as I can. Alright, well, that's going up a hut. Let's make it 46.5. Gives it a bit of extra wiggle room for later. Alrighty. And I'm going to save that. Actually, let's cancel. Let's see if we got a better end of Netsk. Ruan, like that. Ruan class will be designed. Huh? Sorkuf has intercepted a radar. Sure. These guys were causing issues for us, so let's bloody get out here. Let's engage it. Oh, little destroyer. Right on. Yep. Ah, oh, this is definitely one of my older ones, though. So it actually means, depending, this freaking destroyer could be freaking out. Well and truly an impossibility to fuck with. Oh, it's not a destroyer. Oh, that's not good. Two six inch guns, six four inch guns. It comparatively to four seven inch guns and six four. Wow, this is a weird class of ship. You know, I don't know why I'd be surprised. It's the French. Huh? Lo and behold, to what they get up to. Alright, cool. It's still going down. Yeah, um, I actually think I probably managed to get this. Oh, that was uh, disappointing. I was really hoping to be able to finish that off there, and looks like it is dead. Eh? Yeah, missed! Useless one job, huh? There we go, she ain't moving anymore. Alright, and sailing back. Wow. Alrighty, she got hit by a singular torpedo, it's dead, huh? <laughs> God, that actually did a fair bit of damage to that whole thing. I really need to um, update those. Well, not update, just scrap them. Alright, cool. All of our air bases should be completing. Beautiful. Okay, that complete that. CVL changes. Yes, this is actually one of the various things I was waiting for. Alright, so let's save that. Let's find our heavy cruisers, sir. Huh? Oh wow, I actually lost all the heavy cruisers I was intending to um change over. That's okay, let's actually uh take these ones then. Let's take the two in Northern Europe. Let's open design for a rebuilder. Now, I need to add in a flight deck. Change the capacity to, I don't know, six fucking fighters? Nope. Alright, now let's clear the turrets. Yep. Uh, take that down to nutter. Take that down to nutter. Add turrets. Port forward. Freaking, uh, port aft. Doubles, they will be singles. Alright, let's see. Only CV and CVL could have a flight deck. Woohoo, it's like that's what I'm trying to do out of this. What does it require to be changed? Imports. Error rebuilt one may not choose remain turrets with the same calibre. Alright, well, let's bring it down. Well, can we get six? Just, uh, flight deck, rebuild turret. Turret one is new turret. New six inch turrets must be in shielded mounts. Single turrets. Two in armor. Eh. Alright, well, I might not bother about that just yet. Um, I do want to get CVLs, but it's going to be fucking hard. Uh, can I actually design any of these just yet by default? Air marches? Yeah, I haven't built purpose built ones, unfortunately. So I need to get a conversion done. Uh, Jean d'Arc. Uh, let's try to change one of these ones. Since they're a little heavier, I should, might be able to change around a bit. This is already overweight before I even started. Rebuild. What about you? You're overweight too, actually. Huh. So I have a rebuild. Let's delete the off turret entirely. Come over here. Add in two of these, 
go here, let's reduce the ammo on you, let's completely remove them, let's completely remove them. Double check that, ship could have an improved main gun, sure, why not. Powerful 8 inches, I will be probably removing this as I can. Alright, what's up you to director, sure, why not. Increased elevation for the main gun, sure, why not. Uh, shift out catapult. I don't think I could actually put a flight deck on it. Ah, uh, there we go. Put a flight deck on it and it worked. Is that not legal? Ship type cannot have centerline main guns. Alright. Uh, Turret can be rebuilt to 10 inches or smaller. 6 inch or smaller. Uh, well, let's just delete you and add it as a port wing? Port wing. Port wing single turret. Error. Rebuilding F, you may not build, uh, not remove turrets, but not add turrets, or change the number of guns of the same caliber. Alright, well, let's go back to adding a single forward double. Ship type cannot have... Okay, well, what's the options to rebuild? I do forget. I always forget how to do this one. Actually, wait. I think there was. I think you could just delete it, and it'd be okay. <laughs> That's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> all right. Well, let's see how many we can get away with on here. Uh, we've got all that on. Let's replace the machinery in it. Let's see if we can get a bit of extra speed. Twenty-two. Let's up it there. Fourteen inches. Uh, it's got none of that. Got none of that. Clear the torpedo mount. Uh, I don't think I can reduce that. Yep, well, hasn't really got directors, so there we go. Well, welcome to the uh, test bed carrier. <laughs> Cruiser actions are getting declined. Convoy defense, I will accept. Doubt Italy is declining that one. Fleet battle, fuck yes. Italy declined that too. Cruiser battle, declined. Trations reported Italy. Cool, we could be seeing Italy completely crack. Ah, uh, you've got sell our rights developments. Hell yes, we need that technology. Seems to be a reasonable price, sir. Alright, oh, that's what I keep forgetting. Ah, we have the Kansas, New Jersey class. 14 inch guns, 12 and a half inch armor, 21 knots. Not bad, really. Alright, USA has added some points for me, and. Aircraft types. Request proposal. Proposal. Let's get us fighter with speed and maneuverability. Yeah, so we'll cross that to begin with. Raid on coastal installations large. Um, I'll accept that again. Yeah, I right, cruiser divisions. I am immediately just leaving. Actually, <laughs> I know, I know. Not the most entertaining thing to just watch Braves or Robin run away, but um. Yeah, I don't really trust uh, fighting that because there's a good chance those will be um, battle cruisers. And very clearly, I am not a brave man. So, Bazenti. Bazet. We'll head down there. Alright, well, that seems to be efficiently nothing happening. I have a feeling their fleet's probably just maneuvering up the coast. And it might freaking uh, ask me to end it before I actually get all the way down here. You know, I really can't wait till I actually claim these in peace deals, hey? Because at the moment I haven't had a peace deal I've actually got it to take land. Uh, which has been hella disappointing to me. Because, yeah, I desperately want to be able to actually take large tracts of land from them. Sicily and Sardinia are the big ones, but honestly, down here would be nice too, and having a fleet base over in the east would be very nice. Yep, Fadian was torpedoed. Heavy damage, but it was not sunk. Yeah, they did indeed have battle cruisers and all that. So, yep, I'm glad that bloody that wasn't around for me. Okay, they have to be nearly dead. Sure. Alright, some heavy cruisers are commissioned into the navy. Awesome! Let's build ships. Let's get the... Actually, wait, hold on. I actually had uh, Leon class designed. 
Eh. Nah, I'll skip it now. Because, yeah, how long until that design philosophy is ready? One more. Month. That is fine by me. Let's just go. Convoy attack. Am I trying to say yes to that? Nope, Italy declined. Italy cape. God, I've always got to regret these. I'm just going to start declining them. Yep. Alright. Because, yeah, I'm definitely going to start just declining these because it keeps just giving me the light cruisers. Which, not worth it. Now, now they're really, really here. Uh, speaking of, buddy, let's get up, buddy, some music again, shall we? Yeah. Sweet eyes, huh? Epic music for my epic flag. <laughs> You know, I actually like never really hear this part of the song. It's usually the bit I put on uh, my waiting music. Huh. Well, whatever. It is what it is. Alright, we're almost out of here again. But yeah, note to self, just start declining these ones. I can't win against them. Down these uh, coastal insulation raids. By the way, come on, almost out, almost there. Nice three, yeah. Is it? Yes, no, maybe so. Nope. Oh, I wanted. There we go, too far apart. Still on the battle cruisers. Yeah. Marseille is commissioned. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm not really shocked that scientists are having issues with, um, all that, considering. Alright, let's construct two of those, shall we? Alright, and I do believe we actually have a few more of those light crews to build, or are they considered obsolete? They're considered obsolete. Alright, let's design even more light cruisers. Can I double these yet? Actually, out of curiosity, or have I not actually designed it? Has not developed. Damn. Alright, well, that's a decent amount of main lines. Coal, 29 knots. Let's actually see if we can up that to 30. I want to make this a 7800. Three inches. We're even getting some torpedoes defenses on that. Let's see, how, if I put it up to there, how high would I need to go? 8300? Alright, smaller than 8000 before 28, damn it. Alright, so 29 does get me the speed for that. Can even get some more mines on them too. Uh, I actually think it'd be wise to just up that as much as possible. Yeah, nah, okay, no light ones. Alright, I can actually get a level two, a level two on that. Alright, still good. Let's see. I think, yeah, that's gonna be too heavy. Can I unit machinery it? I kinda can. Ugh. Yeah, there we go. The Pascals, huh? Two months on you. Oh, fleet battle, hell yes. Um, hardly accepted, no. Convoy attack, I'll accept that. Yeah, I don't think they've even got anything left there. Indian China, up in skirmishing. Oh, really? Hold on, let me actually be using the music again. Huh, well if India, India and China are at each other's throats again, not really my, pro uh, my problem, but we'll see what comes out. Mind you, I will say this, I was actually recently reading up on the Indian Arjun tank. Holy shit, that thing is a fucking laughing stock. By the way, this ship is slowly becoming legendary to me. The Cheslip Lubat. This thing has been in so many fucking fights, and has taken so much damage over its time. Oh, is it really just transport? Or is it something less? 
Because it seems to be, be an AMC or something, wouldn't it? No. Medium transport. Alright, well. Lo and behold. By transport. Uh, don't, don't fuck that up, man. Alright. Looks like she dead as shit. Alright, and yep, there we go. Sunk. So it really was just a transport. So I get all the bonuses for that with only seeking a transport. Beautifuls. Oh yeah, it's ugly, but welcome to like, you know, World War One era light cruisers. They weren't the prettiest, I'll be honest. Uh, speaking of God, it's probably time to give an update to a few of these. Uh, particularly you, actually, this battle cruiser. Oh, we're talking about the Argens? Yeah, it performed well against the T-90 lies. Yeah, no, they, they don't perform well. Alright, Marseille. Yeah? More powerful 12-inch guns. Let's replace machinery. Make you faster. Uh, probably freaking. Then just add in as much freaking of this as I can. 18 light guns. Why would you be reclassified as a BB? Oh, fire control not the best. Whoops, daisies. Forgot about that. Oh, down you go in. Okay, fucking hell. Alright, so this is... The Torville's probably not going to be updated then. Oh, but it honestly doesn't look like it will be good enough. Huh? Convoy attack will be gone. To replace... Yeah, I heard that they are going to be replacing it with the T-90s, which, fair enough. T-90 is a decent main battle tank, so why not make use of it? Because, yeah. Uh, light cruisers, that's potentially a problem. Alright, yeah, the moment that the red battle cruiser travelling that slow, I did not believe it. Alright, objective is six transports. So, yep, looks like they haven't got any of their big shit here, so let's just cut into them best we can. Alrighty. Because, yeah, these transports most likely will go down pretty damn quick, huh? Alrighty. And back down we go. Alright, yeah, it looks like we will be done with this one in very short order. Because, yeah, this is one of those ones where I'm probably just gonna really, like, get it done, then move off. G'day Jada, good to see ya. Ah, uh, but yeah, no, uh, continuing on the whole T-90 thing. It's like, you know, I'm certain a lot of nations would love to buy, like, the uh, T-14 uh, Armada, but, uh, I love it. I was recently finding out the, um, sheer amount of those that Russia had actually ordered. It's like, they wanted to have something like 130 or 140 of them by now. It's like, oh... They're hella behind schedule. This is called Rule the Waves 2, uh, Jada. Um, essentially, you take a fleet uh, nation from roughly the 19, uh, early 1900s all the way to the mid 1900s. Uh, essentially, you get budgets, design ships, fight wars, all that good stuff. Like, point of case, I have made it my mission this time to dominate the Mediterranean and destroy Italy and Austria Hungary. Uh, after that, I'll probably try to focus on Britain. And hopefully not get fucked over by America. Yeah, it's a bit of a, you know, niche game, but it's pretty good. It is, but at the same time, man, it's got some fucking really interesting new tech in it. Which, anything which you say has interesting new tech in it is guaranteed to have a lot of fuck-up stories with them, huh? Uh, is it premium? Uh, but sorry, by premium do you mean like did I have to pay for it? Yes, you do indeed need to purchase this game with real life monies. 
Alright. Battle of Malta, nothing major. Go, okay, and even its best rights to fire control. Secondary directors. Oh hell yes. 14 inch guns, been up two. Hell yes, hell yes. Yep, sure, do all that. Ah, uh, no, it's not on Steam. You need to go to the website for them. Uh, so just search up Rule the Waves 2, and you'll probably find it's by NWS. Yeah, ah, fuck. Another bloody destroyer hit. Uh, Pascal's. Let's build three of those, four of those. Now, start with just two of them. Uh, coastal shipping, nope. Very coastal installations, nope. The regime of Zilli is wrecked by arrest and demonstrations. They have been forced to accept peace, gain disputed territories. Wow, I can take all their shit. Hell yeah, give me Sardinia, give me Rhodes, give me Eritrea, give me Libya. Beautiful. Um, I actually have... Hey, sweet, new fighter prototypes. Uh, let's see, 122 is already... Oh man, this one's looking like it's blowing away. Range medium is a bit lacking. Maneuverability is great though. Alright, that is definitely the fighter I'm going with. Alright, a pro-German coup has taken place in Norway. God, Germany's having a good game up there. I'd definitely say the game's worth it. Um, oh, let me really quickly have a quick look-see here. Man, that was a beautiful amount of places here. Alright, uh, to be honest, I actually don't really have much of a need to pick a fight with Italy anymore. I've mainly gained control of the Mediterranean. Uh, I'll keep up some medium intel on them. So, who would I actually like to go after next? Maybe Japan? I haven't really fought Japan. Fighting over in Southeast Asia could be fun. Try to capture, um, you know, uh, Taiwan up here. I think this is actually pretty good. I don't know, you can do bloody, um, you can just, you could probably find a way to pirate this game. I'm not saying you couldn't. Um, I generally do like supporting people though, and this has not been too bad so far, so I'll support them. Uh, for the moment I'm going to hold construction of those battle cruisers, at least till the rest of these are done and dusted. Alright, more of those are commissioning. Let's keep going, shall we? Go, that's good. All fine, whatever. And Navy needs to best the money can buy, thank you. Improved directors, awesome. Alright, let's just try right now to get the justice out. Alright, well, looks like uh, the Italians were building air bases out there too. Alright, actually reminds me, whoops, not research, aircraft types. I actually think I need to uh, get torpedo bombers. Oop, no, I wanted. New type, I want a torpedo bomber. Let's see, let's call bomb load and toughness. Dunk shit. I uh, usually buy a game unless it's on Epic. Yeah, fair cop. Everyone's got their general points of entire people in Shanghai. Send them an ultimatum. Points of occupation of Shanghai. Oh, I just got some new guns. So yeah, Shanghai's been taken there. Hmm. Tempted to move stuff down here now. But I re Yeah, screw it. Let's uh let's fight Italy. We haven't really fought Italy yet. Alright, for the moment, let's uh, move a couple of these ones over to Southeast Asia. Because yeah, I probably just need to move like a small squadron over really, so let's put over the other liberties to Southeast Asia. And use them to control the area for now. Alright, awesome. Now we have one of those. Gradual ASWs, sweet as. Uh, naval intelligence chest, absolutely, that's a good idea. Uh, yeah, absolutely, Italy. Press to test for Japan, sweet, extra naval spending, love it. Ah, gets me into a positive, and if I'm in a positive, and it's only four to no, I'll stick with just getting a little bit of extra money. New torpedo bomber, sweet, let's have a quick look-see, range looks good, firepower is what it is. 
Uh, probably need the toughness more than maneuverability. Bomb load's the same. All right, that's what we're going for there. Aircraft types, request a new proposal. Uh, what do I not have? A flying boat? No, float plane scout is what I don't have. Range and reliability I need for that. Okay, awesome. Justice can be completed. Yep, absolutely. In Morocco, Austria-Hungary was force. Ultimatum. Yeah, do that, do that. Battle in Shanghai is continuing. Cool. Uh, government is concerned. No. Nah. Fuck it, Japan. We're gonna fuck them up. Uh, spy from Austria-Hungary. Maximum publicity, because they're another one I would not fi mind fighting again. Justice commissioned. Maximum publicity. God, specialists right now, they're just helping me. Resume and resume. There you go. We'll proceed like that for now. Because, yeah, it won't take too long for these two to be done, and once that's done, I'll have enough money. Uh, Float Plane Scouts. What have we got? Max speed, 96 and 98. Range is better on this bottom one. Uh, firepower, toughness, maneuverability is not the best, and not exactly a bomb load, but I mainly want this for the range, so yeah, taking that. Alright. And they got a new battle cruiser. Let's have a quick look see this. 12 inch guns, 10 inch belt. 28 knots, but not exactly the most impressive. Alright, four turns. Shouldn't get upset over a little spying. Ah, fuck you, Austria Hungary. I'm trying to piss you off a bit more. Alright, well, in terms of what Austria Hungary is going to be putting down, what have they got in this area? Austria-Hungary has eight dreadnought types and eight battle cruisers. I think most people are probably uh, retiring their pre-dreads at this point. Yeah, I'm the only one left with them, so I will probably resign the remainder of them. Uh, let us scrap. Alright, now I should be down a thing on a foreign station. Yep. In technology, reasonable price, absolutely. Alright, where am I? Just the South Pacific, actually. Huh. Alright, what do I need out here? I should actually probably send um, a couple of decent ships out here. Move ships, uh, let's get some of our new ones, these Cond classes. And yeah, a couple of these 3800 ones here. A couple of the Bogards. All these going to the South Pacific. Huh? Go decent cruiser squadron to deal with whatever pops up over there. Yeah, yeah it's got fucking chill, gents. This is between our ally Germany and Japan is arriving. Germany is asking for our support. We should honor our obligations. Huh? Absolutely. Blank check. Sweet. Uh, with that blank check, I can probably actually start building new dreadnought type. Because, yeah, I do have the 16-inch guns now. You see, I wasn't... I'm not a big fan of, um... Of... What's it called? Uh, the Civilization series. So I really don't have any reason to pick up, um... Epic. No. Strange, but no. Strange, but no. Alright, that seems like a decent style to me. Let's go for a full 50,000. Oh, yeah, I know, I hit zero one too many times. I apologize, jeesh. 26. 16-inch guns. Uh, turret layout seems okay. I want that much on it. Flat deck, all or nothing. 13. I'd like to go up to 14 if I can. Alright, let's clear the mounts. Uh, more importantly, let's turn this down and up the number. 24. Why can't I dual purpose you? They're required to be singles, right on. Dual purpose you as well. 20. And let's up the uh, light anti-air there. 
All right, the Friedland Cobay Cobay class. Sure, rate of fire from secondaries is fine. I mainly want them taking out aircraft, so that seems like that will be the next one. I will put a couple on. Oh, the Pascals are done too. All right, I can't wait till we actually get um, a couple of decent things. All right. Are those ships seriously not out in the South Pacific yet? Yeah, no, there we go. They're there now. <laughs> Name is by Germany. Uh, Germany, we are impressed. Uh, hosted the fine ships. Obviously, I don't want to piss off Germany. They are my friends. Uh, new torpedo bomber. Uh, let's have a quick look. See, bit faster, bit better range. Uh, it's not as tough. Nah. Don't want it. It's fine. Okay, I've stole some more tech. The core bay is ready to be built. There we go. Let's make one of these as a one offer. Best technology money can buy. Absolutely. Hey, nine inch guns. Uh, that's actually not too bad. Might be worth. No, I'm sticking with my flying boat. I'll thank you very much. Yeah, hold on, 1921. Never mind, actually, a new one here looks pretty good. Let's go for it. <laughs> Whoops. Japanese ship, the house. 13 inch guns, 14 inch armor. Yeah, I think we will be able to fight them pretty easily, yeah? Can't say I'm feeling that threatened. I definitely need more battle cruisers, though. Yeah. Uh, tension between the USA and Japan is rising. Absolutely. Blank check. Magazine box protection. Hell yeah. Uh, really quick though, I actually think it would probably be worth actually uh, updating a few of these ships now. So let's go for these um, Gallus classes. Open design for rebuild. Let's see, more powerful 12 inch guns. Improved director. I don't want it bulged. Um, could replace the machinery to probably up the speed. Yeah, drop that down by one. Put director on you, and let's get as much of these going as possible. There we go. All good. Oil is available. Yeah. Uh, okay, increased elevation I can get too. Could have the direct... Wait, hold on. Did that say I could have the director? She have improved director secondary guns. Uh, okay. That's what it has, isn't it? Ah, oh, yeah, but I didn't have the more powerful uh, guns. That was the issue. Alright. Awesome. Done and dusted. The 22 refit will be good for those two. Alright, by all means, for quadruple turrets, for you, Britain, let's see how it goes for you. Torpedo technology, yeah, I'll buy it. I mean, I'm not really researching it, so I might as well. <laughs> SW technology, absolutely. fucking lootly Improved depth jobs racks, awesome. Uh, speaking of, I think that might be the next thing I actually need to build up. It looks to me like I am severely lacking in a lot of newer destroyers. Huh? So yeah, you know what, let's uh, design a new one for the moment, now that we've got that done. Destroyer, pump you out. Four inch guns, three inch tubes. Um, increased depth charge storage. Uh, catapults positions, nothing major there. I don't really feel like any mines for these ones. Uh, normal accommodation, please. I'll lower the speed a little bit. Actually, I probably don't need to. But yeah, this looks pretty good. Mouse class. Oil is now available. Not researched. Dual purpose guns as main armament. Oh, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. That's fine. It gives me a little bit of extra weight to work with. So let's up that and... Yeah, I think we're good. Actually, I could go oil on these now, couldn't I? Yeah, fuck it, let's go for the oil. Gives us extra stuff here. 
Ooh, actually, that would be nicer. 120? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I know it's on the low side, but it's fine. Alright, we'll design them. By all means, get all this, and let's freaking make sure we are ready to roll when we're ready to roll. Not now, I'll build them shortly. Ah, uh, one of our crews run aground. Uh, fuck them off. TNT warheads, sweet. Holy shit. Okay. Austria Hungary is basically ready to eat me. Uh, France. Okay, I need to move some of these back. I usually use me uh, uh, just me to then eyeball it, but I usually custom setting. Alright, let's actually move uh, two of these liberties back to the Mediterranean, I reckon. Because, yeah, that looks like that's going to fire. I'll leave the Justice up here. We'll keep the Tourville up here. Uh, I'll keep the Heavy Cruisers up here, too. Actually, the Heavy Cruisers, I reckon, I would probably be good for me to move to Southeast Asia. Because, yeah. Man, I already feel like those uh, vessels are pretty old. Ah, sweet, some of the new fighters are ready to go, too. Uh, sells right to submarines, increased batteries. Ah, uh, sure. Alright. Internal belts, sweet as. That is a really nice bloody bit of technology here. Ah, uh, if you want. Um, I just will need to put the bun on your foot. No, I'll work with that in a moment. Alright, uh, Austria-Hungary, let's go here. Because, yeah, that'll distinctly fire it over. Yeah, there we go. God, that did not give me much more money there. That's disappointing. Alright, let's up that. Let's put ships onto trade protection. Which will be... From you, down to the 900s. Actually, probably not the best plan. Let's go from here up to here. Trade protection. Cool. Now, I actually think these ones here, for the most part, should probably be moved to the Med. Move ships. Mediterranean. Booyah. Yeah, I'll probably move the other ones back. Uh, enemy destroyer raid. Okay, I accept. Well, oh yeah, right. I actually forgot that I even had this now. No, come over here. <laughs> there we go. Alright, that's just an installation there too. Honestly, I'm just gonna move back and forth along here, freaking as if they were proper battle lines, buddy. Come what may. Because, yeah, it looks like they've got a bunch of their older ones out here, too. Not really the biggest problem to me. I love what people estimate, though. Uh, Dreadnoughts, battle cruisers. Ah, they're bringing everything! Alright, cool. Let's hope that the rest of my destroyers have managed to figure out <laughs> figure out how to come back up around a simple turn. Alrighty. I don't know if they blew all their load on torpedoes, but fucking hell, I think all my guys have. Alright, let's try to pick off this one at the end here, shall we? Yeah, I feel like we will have this one very shortly, if I'm lucky. No. Captain Mel, I would really hope that you pull back. There we go. Alright, looks like, uh, we're all G. Oh, hey, Destroy Division 18, it's fucking good to meet up with you again. Let's go pick up the rest of you little derps, shall we? Alright, there we go.
And I'm like, ah, that looks like they have completely pulled off, so woohoo. Success story! Yeah, I'm just gonna keep fucking pacing back and forth here for now though, because honestly you can't trust it when they pull out like that. Just is what it is. Yeah, like that. And they'll freaking keep coming up on you. Oh wow, they actually got one. Oh, they might have. They might not yet. Alright, don't know where they've gone once again. But I need to see this one pop up here, so let's uh, cross, cross down over here. See if we can get lucky enough to intercept anything. Potentially. Looks like not yet. I don't know if this Morty is going to make it back, but... Well, let's hope for the best for it. Back to ultra speed, thank you. Yeah, nothing major. Okay. What's the time limit? Freaking... I have to say 600. We're almost through, really. I mean, ah, nothing really here nor there. Ah, alright. Let's cross back through. Anything major? No. No. Alright, well, we're all good. Yeah, they left. Bit of damage, bit of damage, victory's me because obviously they failed to take their objective. Huh? Ah, hello, AP projectiles from Japan. Uh, nah, fuck Japan. What do you mean they dominate the Caesar and Corsica? Alrighty. So Japan's now at war with me too. So my divisions here is one dreadnought type where they have deployed five. Huh? Alright, me trying to counter Austria-Hungary fully here is probably not required, so let's move ships, okay, weird. So let's move ships, obviously some are bound for the Mediterranean, like uh, these two Charlemans, uh, which are 12-inch guns, right? Yeah. We'll move these, and probably one of the... Uh, We'll move the Justice and a Liberty back. Because I think that will leave me with a um, decent enough number of ships spread around that we can probably um, guarantee the wins. Huh? That one's already in Southeast Asia, actually. Alright, well, it's just you then. We can move ship to Southeast Asia. Thank you. Alright, awesome. Done. Cruiser action around Japan. Uh, I do have some pretty decent heavy cruisers here now, so considering it's a medium battle, they declined. Coastal Raid, large battle. Uh, sure. I'll see how sneaky I can make this. It's with my cruisers. So yeah, if we could actually... Petri, sweet aunt, as... Alright, I don't think I see anything else here. Either way, I'm just going to be real fucking quick about this. So let's get these cruisers, we'll sink this transport, which more than likely already alerted everyone that I'm here. Yep, I didn't even see them engage. We'll blow the shit out of this installation and we are going to leave, because that's probably their fleet just down here. Yep. Decent ship, this one. 14, 14 guns. Alright, awesome. Let's see, I should be able to, from d -d -d here, manual targeting. Alright, well, actually, uh, manual targeting didn't do shit, it just started targeting the objective, fortunately. Here we go, here we go, here we go, and turn north. With any luck, bombardment targets getting hit. Alrighty. 
Time to go on an adventure, I reckon. Alright. These guys on 27. That's cool. Let's pull them west. Alright, so this is actually a lot more of their fleet than I've seen beforehand. So, the Katsuraji class? 13 inch guns, decent armor. Aruna class, 11 inch guns, alright armor. EK class, lot of fucking 13 inch guns. Light armor. Kage, 12, 9. Mitsu, 12, 10. Kage, 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 Kage. Issei, I haven't seen these ones. Issei, 12 inch, 9. Nothing major. Setsu's back here. Looks like first generation. Fuck me, they're terrible. And the Kalachi looks like first generation as well. Alright, so awesome. Patri out here is incredibly powerful comparatively. Mind you, this ship's being fucking dumb back here. Ah, oh, it's an old one anyway. Ah, I'm gonna take them on a bit of a run with the uh, Patri here. Let's drop to 20 knots, because I feel like that's where they really are. Because, yeah, I'm going to pull these um, heavy cruisers around out here, really. Just, just drop you to cruise. Freaking let you go. Alrighty. Yeah. I actually outgunned them pretty damn hard, huh? Mind you, at this range, what is it? 18,000 yards? Let's again have a quick look see at our main gun data. 14 inch guns. What are you at 18,000 yards? 11 and a half inches are effective to 10.9. So what ship are we hitting here? This Icky class? Which has... A <laughs> fucking I am actually doing proper damage to it, never mind. <laughs> Yeesh. Right on, Juds. Right on. Alright, cool. I think their battle cruisers are still like back down here, damaging that ship. Alright, you, once again, max speed, because I think we're too close to them now. Let's turn around, huh? Alright, let's see. Cargo class now, 9.5 inch at 14,000, so my guns are still effective. Yeah, alright, these guys are not going to do well against my fleet. Alright, heavy cruisers in max speed. Let's get our objective done now while freaking Patry out here is uh, doing a merry little chase. Oh, yep. Okay, well, that's interesting. Surprised how much damage they're freaking doing onto that. Cargo just keeps getting hit. The Jules Ferry out here, actually. What's this got? Nine 10 inch guns, huh? Dada, what are you at Freak of the Ranger engaging at? Uh, would have been helpful if I looked. But let's see, let's grab you, Freak of the let's have a look, see, 13,000 yards. At 13,000 yards, your guns are... Ah, ripping through there, I would... Freaking not doing enough. We're getting stopped by the armor pretty handedly. Alrighty. Okay, let's keep the patchery running. Alrighty, here we go. Let's come on out here. Alright. Bombardment target is going down. Beautiful. Alright, let's actually turn aside here really quick. Because, yeah, um, I believe we could probably get a few good hits on there. Yep, got a hit on the cargo. Alright, and it's gone. 
Cruisers, we are out. I'm just going to get them to actually cruise out of here. Alright. Ah, uh, they're in engagement range. Alright, let's pull away again. Alright, Karg is still getting hit out the front here. With any bit of good luck, I could probably actually get a um, critical hit on these guys. Come on. Karg is still being hit. The Jules Ferry back here I'm a little worried for. Alright, honestly, you, I'm going to actually set you to independent. And that's actually the only thing I can set you to, really. I'm hoping that it'll run away. Alright. So yeah, let's split here, shall we? How many of my guns am I bringing to bear? Looks like all of them. Yeah, more 14 inch hits. Got another 15,000 yards this time, too. Oh, uh, okay. Don't know why I was bringing up gun data of some random 12 inch guns. I don't know if that's theirs, but who they have. They literally have negative bloody, um, one, uh, one quality 12 inch guns, which is yeesh. Rough considering what they're going against right now. Which is quality zero or quality one 14 inch guns. Alright, let's flee again. Because again, at the range we're talking about, yeah. They're probably able to get some freaking hits in against me here, so I wouldn't trust it too fully. Alright, the cargo looks like it's probably dead. Huh? Or if not dead, bloody um, heavily damaged. So let's keep a sailing, shall we? Patri, let's come out over here. Because yeah, I'm going to make this run, or hope I can. Looks like I won't actually be able to. Yeah, screw it. Alright, let's head up there. Mitsu is being hit by 5-inch guns. <laughs> My 5-inch guns are hitting at this range. Holy shit, naval gunners deserve a fucking medal sometimes. Alright, oh, we're going well, and we can probably keep fleeing from them with relative ease. Patrick took a little bit of fire there, probably because it's been reduced to 14,000 yards at this point. So, let's just flee, get out of here, and we'll see what we can do. Hey, what's up? Uh, just letting you know it's been like two hours streaming and 10 p.m. sort of refine stopping point. Yeah, I know. Thanks for keeping it up to It's not like I have a timer or anything. I'm just saying there's a point soon. Yeah, I mean, I was going to do a four hour stream, but okay. Well, we can do another two hour session. Okay. Alright, so my little being gay. <laughs> and wanting to have dinner with me. Probably watch some shows of that too, so I'm going to, uh... I'll finish up this battle here, which, you know, nice to be showing to begin with. Alright, sweet, we don't need to go all the way around Taiwan. Thank fuck. Hello, random scouting ship that I'm gonna fire the fuck on. Ooh, I think I just hit that with some 14 inch fire. Hell yes. Uh, I'm gonna get to the Chinese seaboard across southwest. I did lose that old Moncalm class, but I don't really worry too much. I probably should have retired that a while ago. Now right, this is still coal fired, so let's reduce the um, speed of that. Ah, oh, yeah, sweet. It's night time now. We're gonna sneak on by. Beautiful. Mind you, objective completed. Damage to their fleet, and the patchery here is looking fucking beautiful. Took five hits in that run from an entire fleet. Expended fucking good amount of raft ammo. Bloody hell. Rounds fired, 693. Scoring 19 hits. Not too bad. Alright, cool. We're done. There's something there. Yep. 
Oh, I only got light damage on their ships, unfortunately, but hey, it's what it is. Alright, not a uh, not a bad start. Alrighty, awesome. As I said, other half wants to do, uh, wants to do stuff and all that, so I will call this session here. Either more dual war on the opposite sides of the planet. I am going to be enjoying this. Uh, rebuilds are almost done in these Gallus classes. Once I have them, I will put them probably uh, against the Austro-Hungarians. Once I've got the battle cruisers, I'll probably send them out against the Japanese. Because yeah, um, if you saw what how good those 14-inch guns were on it. You can just imagine what 16-inch guns and 30-knot ships are going to do to them. Alright, anyway, without further ado, I will end it here. Thank you all very much for watching, and I look forward to catching you all next time. Be good, and bye bye